What's up guys? Quick video. Evil Within intro. PC. Sony 900E. Native 4K. Max settings. Just showing this quick intro because Evil Within 2 is one of the games I'm looking forward to most. And for my subscriber, J Just Games. Don't laugh, bro. You know I got farther than this, but I'm just showing the beginning. So, as you guys can tell by my videos, I've not gotten very far in a lot of these games. This one I've gotten halfway through, but I wanted to show you the intro. The intro is pretty impressive on how good this game looks. TV is still in that animation mode I was telling you guys about in the previous video. Just playing around with it. So a lot of the things that are up, like good live colors up, a lot of the things that I typically don't have up are up. And I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty bright. This game is hit or miss as far as its visuals. It does have some green. And there is a lot of aliasing around objects even at max settings even at highest anti-aliasing you'll still see some shimmering but good looking game if i believe correctly it's from the original resident evil creator Smells like blood. Alright. Now as you guys can tell I jump around a lot between the different systems. You're not seeing a lot of Xbox simply because Xbox is We're gonna check it out. You know, Don't Xbox One X is before. primarily up converted to 1080p. We don't know what's happening here. It doesn't film very well. And we're gonna do a video coming up on kind of contemporary expectations of the Xbox One X. And trying to understand what doing 4K at 60 really means and how hard it really is to obtain. The PS4 Pro does a lot of uh, checkered board rendering, 1440p. And to be honest guys, I'm actually okay with that. Asking for 4K 60, asking for 4K 30 is a little crazy. Especially at a console that's $500. To put it in proper context, guys, the GTX 1080 Ti, which is one of the fastest and most powerful cards out there, I think is about $1,100. That's just for the card. That's not including the CPU, the memory, the case, anything. So, I think we're all a little bit sensitive to, you know, these systems not delivering what they say they're going to. Okay, That's just marketing. What happened here? I think... A lot of us were a little underwhelmed with Xbox One and PS4 not being able to reach 1080p. So security cameras might tell us something. We'll talk more about that in the next video, but I'm gonna ignore and we'll just go right out into the hallway and just kind of look around. What we're looking for in the new systems, too, guys, is clean edges, not the shimmering that you see with a lot of, uh, or the jagged lines you see. We're looking for things to be much cleaner. Resolution isn't going to help that if we don't have the proper techniques to smooth out the edges. Alright guys, thanks you as always. Have a great night.